We are here with city forester Ellen Roan at Italian Lake Park and we're going to talk about how to get rid of those pesky spotted lanternflies we see all, all over the place. You can pick up a free spotted lanternfly trap at Reservoir Park Mansion if you are a city resident, but there are also ways, Ellen, that you can handle uh, spotted lantern flies at home by yourself uh, with a homemade kit, I guess we could call it. What do you okay. need? Okay, you need a giant fly trap or fly paper. That's the word for it. You'll need screening, nylon screening, a pair of scissors, thumbtacks, and a hammer, and, and a measuring tape. That's pretty much it. All right, let's uh, show people how to get it done. Use this fly paper, four inch width of it. Very, very sticky. Probably need somebody to help you, or else you'll need uh, to tack this in place on one end first. Is just measure the circumference of the tree. The screening is nylon screening, and it generally comes in this. I think it's an 18-inch width. You don't need a width that wide, so I've cut that in half. And I'm going to cut a length of this screening. It's important that you don't just put it on tightly because we don't want it to stick to the fly paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to pleat it. So what we're seeing here is that the screening is held out away from the tree. What the spotted lantern flies do is they fall from the tree and then they have a tendency to climb right back up the tree trunk. So as they climb up, they'll get captured on the sticky paper. And this will, the screening will protect birds and other uh, insects that we don't want to capture from, from getting caught. The traps we just showed you are really good, Ellen is saying, for the smaller nymph stage lantern flies. If they're fully grown and really annoying for that matter, that's where you want uh, these uh, traps that we have available at the Reservoir Park Mansion. Right. This is called a circle trap, and this is what we're uh, making available to the public. You'll see there's two. there are two sticks that are supporting it. The longer stick goes against the tree vertically, like put a, a thumbtack to the right and to the left of the top of the, the longer stick. Okay, so that keeps it from falling. And then what we do, what you'll see is that there are these grommets around the base of the trap. But what you want to do is thread a piece of string through the grommet on the end. Okay, and then there's a, a grommet here at this end. I'm just going to thread this through here. And you want it to be snug, but don't pull it so tight that you pull the grommets out. These wire pieces are meant to just hold the, the trap away from the tree like this. The trap will come with a piece like this. It has little tabs at the bottom that fit into tabs on this piece. And you want this to be in like this. You'll, you'll see that there's a, a plastic piece here attached. That is to sort of direct the, the insects into the bag. So this needs to be this way. So you just put, the, put it in and twist it in place like that. The bag, will capture them. So you're gonna just put the bag on over the cone, like so, and put the zip tie on. There, and then it comes off. And the reason is that you're gonna to need to change this bag if you have lots of these insects. You're gonna to need to change it probably once a week or once every two weeks. So once they're in the bag and you um, have them trapped, what do you do? Oh, okay, well, throw them out. They, they will probably be dead when you take them out of the bag. Um, if they're not, crush them. And uh, I guess you could compost them. There you go. <laughs> the sticky traps that you saw first, those are all items that you could buy at a hardware store. The circle traps are available for a limited supply at the Reservoir Park Mansion for city residents only. And if you want more information about spotted lantern fly traps, look to the Penn State uh, Extension website. Uh, if you just Google Spotted Lanternfly Penn State Extension, they've got a wealth of information on, on their site, including how to make a circle trap if you need to make another one.